Do you believe that you are the only source of truth on the planet? I believe the only source of truth is God. That's what I believe. I also believe that any single individual on this planet or in the spirit world who, who are obviously still alive, people who are still alive even though people on earth believe they're dead, any single one of those people is able to receive direct information to God about any answer they wish to ask about, any question they wish to ask about. So I actually feel that any single person who is God's child has the ability to connect to God directly and receive information from God about any question. Of course, if two different people connect to God and claim they are connecting to God, then if God's giving them the answer, the answer will be identical. This whole concept that God will give different answers to different people is flawed in its logic. The issue we face, though, is how many people are actually connecting to God and getting direct answers from God on the truth of different subjects. And my feelings are very few people are actually doing that. And this is evidenced by the how many religions there are being practiced on the planet. I think there are seven or eight thousand religions currently on the planet. And this is an indication that there are seven or eight thousand groups of people who are in direct disharmony with God. Because if they were in harmony with God, they would all have the same concept of love and the same belief systems about the truth. See, I believe that God has absolute truth. And when we come to accept God's truth in our heart through a process where we connect with God individually, we finish up having the same opinion on the same issue with regard to truth. It doesn't mean that we have the same personality. And it doesn't mean we have the same expression of our personality. And it doesn't mean that we have the same desires. But it just means that if you ask a question such as, is there a spirit world? The answer of all of the people who are connecting to God will be identical. The fact that it's not identical on this planet at this point in time indicates that the majority of people who claim they're connecting with God are not connecting with God but rather are connecting either with someone else or just with their own ideas. I am not doing that. Now, you don't have to believe that. I am just stating that that's not what I've done. What I'm trying to do before I share truth with others is I'm trying to discover the truth myself through this connection with God. I am willing to be wrong and I'm willing to change. However, I am also going to be a person who is sincere about that particular process. Because I am so sincere about that particular process, the truth is that I have a lot of truth that this planet has never seen before that I can share with different people on this planet. But I am not the only one who's able to discover it. Any person is able to discover it if they're willing to go through the same process God showed me I had to go through in order to discover it. So while I believe all of us are capable of receiving truth in the same manner from God, I do not believe all of us are receiving truth in the same manner from God. And that is because we are unwilling to accept God's method of receiving that particular information. What I'm attempting to show people is that I believe I have discovered God's method 2000 years ago, and I'm attempting to share that method with people. If they try that same method, then God will be able to share with them truth, just as God has shared with me truth. And I am not the only person who can receive this truth, because every single one of God's children has the ability to receive this truth. It's just whether we're open to receiving it or not as to whether we do. And this is where I feel the main problem is. Most people on the planet are not open to receiving God's truth. They are only open to receiving their own ideas reflected back at themselves. And that's why there is very little truth on the planet.